Hello fellow crafters, welcome to my channel, Crafts by Susie Cardmaker. Today we're going to make a card featuring Stampendous' house mouse stamps. They're very cute and they're a lot of fun to color. So we start off by stamping Warm Cup, which is the name of the stamp, onto some Nina's 80 pound solar white with Simon Says Stamp Black Intense Ink. We're going to color the mouse with some warm Copic colors. I usually start coloring dark and then go to light. However, I'm going to attempt to go from light to dark later on in this video because I see that is what most Copics, Copic users do. So I'm coloring the mouse, like I said, with some warm gray colors. I'm coloring the inside of his ears with some R20. And I'm going back over it with the warm gray one just to mute it a little bit. However, I left his nose full strength. And now I'm covering his face with some earth tones. And then going in with a darker color to add in my shadows and then I'll blend that all out. Next we're going to color the coffee cup and we're going to use some RV markers. Um, I'm going in with a light shade. I'm marking all my shadows so that I know where to find them. And then I'm going to go in with my medium tone. And a good thing about these stamps is that the designer basically tells you where to add your shading. So here's my mid-tone. And I'm just going to go over a lot of the places I already stamped and blend it out a little farther. And these stamps are just adorable. Um, I've just started collecting them. And I'm in love with every one of them. So I'm going back over all my shadows. And now I'm com this time I'm coming in with my mid-tone. I'm sorry, the last one was my dark, my darkest. This is my mid-tone, and I'm going to uh, blend out and carry it out a little farther and get rid of any harsh lines from the my darkest color. And then I'm going to come in with my lightest RV marker and blend everything together. I really love pink and purple, so you'll find in my videos I use a lot of pink and purple. I'm also liking teal a lot lately, too. So. Alright, so as soon as we get this little guy colored, then we're going to go ahead and fussy cut him out. I do not believe that house mouse stamps make dies for theirs. Oh, I apologize. First, we're going to ground him. We're going to add a little shadowing underneath him with some C3. And then I'll go in with C1 to get rid of any harsh lines and uh, spread out the shadowing just a little bit more. Then we're going to fussy cut it out. And um, I really enjoy fussy cutting. It's very calming and relaxing. So I'm going to fussy cut him out, leaving a small white border. I usually do this like at night when I'm watching TV or something. Then I'll go ahead and fussy cut any images I've colored throughout the day. And if you take your time and just relax with it, you can do it. It's really not that difficult. Obviously, this is sped up. I do not cut this fast. I wish I cut that fast, but I don't. So, 
So we're going to go ahead and finish fussy cutting them out, and then I'm going to pull out my twisters. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Craft knife. And I'm going to cut out the hole between the, in the handle there, in the handle area, and get that trim done. Not very good with a craft knife, or at least not that one. I've tried a couple different ones that I really didn't like. I just bought a new craft knife kit. I got it actually at Harbor Freight. You'll be seeing that in some upcoming videos. So like, I don't know, half a dozen or more different size knives. And I just, I love it. It's so easy to work with. It's got eight different nice knife sizes. Um, very tiny to very big. So now that we've got our little mouse all cut out, we're going to work on our card base. Our card base is some Recollections 65 pound brown. And I'm using the stamp set by Fisker's called Latte Love. And I'm taking the two coffee beans and I'm using some Mento Rich Cocoa and creating a tone on tone background. And I'm just rotating my stamp and stamping them every which way to just kind of make it look random. This is an easy way to make a background. If you don't really have a pattern paper that matches whatever project you're working on. This is a really easy way to uh, make up, make your own pattern paper. So now we're going to fold that in half and score it. With, I've already scored it with my Martha Stewart scoreboard, but now we're going to fold it in half and use our bone folder to make a nice crisp line. And then this is where I decided I needed something to brown my coffee cup. I wish I'd have done this before I did all the stamp, all the little coffee beans, but I didn't. This is a row of coffee beans from from the same stamp set, Latte Love. And so I went ahead and I stamped it in there with that, again with the Memento Cocoa, Rich Cocoa. And now I'm going to color them in with my Copic markers and just to make them stand out more. So I color them all in with one of my darker E markers. And then I'm going to take another one and I'm going to go back through and draw the line down the center of the coffee bean. Now I'm going to add beer in my coffee cup to it. And I'm using some foam dots that I think I got from my stepmother. Um, and with these foam dots, it leaves a lot of space behind. As you can see, there's the holes where I've already used some. Don't throw that part out. Use every piece of that. It's all sticky, so you might as well use it. As you see, I start trimming it here in just a second. Well, I kind of trimmed it off. But I trimmed off a piece and did the coffee cup handle, did part of the base where I made the shadow underneath the coffee mug. And then I'm going to remove all the backing paper and go ahead and stick it to my card base. And then it'll be time for my sentiment. For my sentiment, I pulled out a piece of Recollections craft colored paper. I used a sentiment from the Latte Love. It says, your kindness warms my heart. And I'm going to be stamping it in Burst Mark ink so I can heat emboss it. First, I go and use my powder tool to prevent any static. Keep any stray embossing powder from going places you don't want it to be. And I'm inking up my sentiment with some Versamark ink. 
and then I'm going to line that up on my scrap paper and let it sit for just a second so the paper will absorb some of the ink. And then we're going to heat emboss it with some copper embossing powder that I believe came from Hampton Arts. I got it at Joann's in a large set of like 20 different little colors. But this copper is a really, really warm and pretty color. And here we are heat embossing it. And I love to watch embossing powder melt and turn shiny. It just looks so pretty. Now, if I had placed that directly on my card, it would have it would have stood out like a sore thumb. So I got out some distress ink, the uh, walnut stain to be exact, and I just kind of went around the edges a little, just to um, take away the starkness of it. And I trim it down and and just make it blend more with the background paper and the mouse himself. So now I'm going to adhere that to my card base using my ATG gun. And I'll place that on my card base and then I'll pull out my sequins. And I'm going to place sequins. I use some matte chocolate and some copper and some of the iridescent pink. Just sequins I've picked up in random places. And I'm, use, I'm securing them with my Ranger Multimedia mat and using my quick pickup pick tool to um, help pick them up and, and adhere them. Now when I finish this, I'm looking at my card and it's like, no, I just don't like it. So I pulled out my Onyx Black Liquid Pearls and I went over that line of coffee beans at the bottom and use that to make the center lines, and I like that much better. And this is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and will join me again for other card tutorials. I'll be doing another house mouse set next, and it's a really, really cute one. And this is, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and this is also a link to my blog and you can also find me on Facebook at Crafts by Susie Cardmaker. Have a great week, and we will see you next time. Bye.